Hiya, Tom. Lovely to meet up with you and do some further work on your game. Uh, just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. Initially, we talked about having a little bit too much weight on the lead leg at setup. It was becoming a little bit of a caricature of what you were trying to achieve. And the issue we had that was even though we had a lot of weight on the lead leg, it would then diminish you in the back swing and you would drift off the golf ball. So the axis of the swing wasn't very stable, even though there had been a lot of weight placed forward at setup. From that position now you were finding it increasingly difficult to shift any weight forward during the golf swing. The hips would back up, spin out, and the weight would move back during the follow through. So the first thing that we did was apply a little bit less weight into the lead leg during the backswing and ask you to make no contact to the cane that's positioned two to three inches to the right hand side of your head at setup. So if we take a little look at where you would normally be, get rid of those other lines and put that same cane in place, if you will. Then what would happen is during the backswing, you would move, after a pretty good first move away, you would drift off into and beyond that cane and then stay back throughout the downswing. So the first thing was to try and keep you in position during the backswing, keep the backswing around a more stable axis. Your goal is to miss the cane. You can see there now that you're much more centered at the top of the swing. And then the issue we have now is that on the way through, we still tend to have the weight, sort of the hips staying back, spinning out a little bit earlier. And as we follow through, we have this sort of flex forward look where the hips haven't continue to tuck under during the through swing. So the feeling was to stay on top of the ball more on the way back and then learn to tuck the hips under on the way through. The more the hips tuck under on the way through, the more the weight continues to move forward, the more you can continue to hit out at the golf ball. The club is brought out of its descent and the potential for power is increased as the stretching and flexing of the spine is a huge potential lever that can create extra speed in the golf swing. So the feeling there was that you were trying to hit every shot a little bit higher than the one before and you were feeling that the hips were tucking under more during the downswing. As a result, we end up with a much better extension of the spine an extension of the hips, creating more of a tucked look through impact as opposed to a flex forward look through impact. Look at the amount of flex we've got in those hips at that point in the through swing as opposed to where we are on the bottom left. So not having as much weight forward, not drifting off the ball. Remember the weight being forward is nice but it's got to stay forward and then move continuously forward in the downswing via the hips tucking underneath the torso. It has a number of benefits, like we said before, bringing the club out of its descent, adding power to the swing, and more importantly for yourself, preventing you hitting across the ball severely during the downswing. Good luck with it. Keep me posted on the progress, and I look forward to meeting with you again in the near future to further our work on your game. Well done.